What's going on guys? Bao here back with some MGG PvP. So we're still going. We're just trying to get up to silver, which we'll probably make in this video. <clears throat> but uh, we'll see. Alright, we're still using the same team and um... Ooh, let's uh, take down... Let's go with the one at the end. Because both of the one at the end and the one in the middle are going to get to attack. So we need to take down at least one of them. And here we should be able to take down the other one with that Project X27. So that's why I just put a little bit of damage into the other one. Alright, now we should be able to kill it, which we do. This guy's still going to get to attack. He uses his tag. And now we get a bunch of attacks into him now. So we should be fine. That's why it pays to have faster mutants. Even in your defense team, you do want at least one. Um, unless you're really high level or you just want to try to tank it. But uh, that doesn't always work out because, I mean, as you see in there, I could use my tag and take down somebody right away. So, I don't know, you want to at least have one faster mutant. And 142, ah, now we got a 1, or 36, so we're not going to get that many points out of this one, but it's fine. Alright, we're just going to start using the tags. I know I could have probably used the lower level one there, but it's fine. Ah, oh, come on, why didn't that attack everybody? Could have finished this a lot quicker. Alright, uh, let's see. We'll try to take down this one. And he survived with 600. Really? Ah, oh, yeah. See, if that would have attacked everybody, they would have all been dead already. But nope, he gets some damage in, which is fine. Top 4% still. Alright, we're going to save this one, I guess. 126, 1300 points. So, they are in silver. So, I'm going to guess we need about another... I thought it was going to take like another 20... 20 or 40, something like that. Because we need 40 to get to 1300. So, we're pretty close to silver. Um, I was guessing it was going to be about 1300 for silver. And then... Now that I got to silver, I'm going to guess it's going to be 1600 for gold. So, probably what we're going to have to get to, let me see, let's take down that guy, I guess. But uh, yeah, that's probably what we're going to have to get to to get to gold, which is going to be pretty hard to get. Probably going to have to win quite a bit of fights. Unless we get lucky and beat somebody pretty higher up. So we actually got it at 1284. Um, it's probably like 1280 or something like that. You can get silver. But that is pretty close to 1300. So I'm guessing I'm going to have to get to 16. Um, let's take down the bat just because it is going to attack first. Really doesn't matter which one we're gonna get to attack because they both are all three we're gonna get to attack either way before my stronger mutant gets to attack. Hopefully they don't take him down because that's gonna kind of suck. Right now we're just gonna put in some damage. We'll put damage into both of them because uh, I don't know which one they were gonna go for. It looks like they're gonna go for the bot. They do take him down. They still have their tag as well. And now we're just gonna put damage into one of them. There we go. And not going to be able to take down either one of mine. And still didn't use the tag, which is pretty surprising. I thought they always use their tag, but apparently not. Or he didn't. Well, most people do have tags, so I don't know what happened there. Alright, top 3%. Uh, 33, 3, 3. Alright, 13, 33. 
There we go. Ooh, um, he's got two speedsters and then a tank. Let's just take down the middle one, because we don't want that m both of them to do damage, because they would do quite a bit of damage to me. Now we're just going to put in damage into his tank, because the other guy is going to get to attack either way. There was no way uh, my two minions were going to be able to take him down. So, there we go. Come on. And... We should be able... Yep, we got a crit, so we took him down. I think we would have still took him down without the crit, but I'm not too sure on that one. And it looks like we actually got a defense already. Somebody actually attacked me. Because we started off with five. So you can see it's going to take quite a bit of points to actually maintain gold. Especially when you're going to get attacked and... Still got about four hours to go and already getting attacked, so. And I'm not even to gold yet. Alright, we should lose. Damn it. He got his tag off right there. I don't know if we're gonna be able to take this guy down. Yep, we're not gonna be able to take him down. And we're gonna lose? Man. Yeah, we're gonna lose this. There's no way unless we pull a crit off. There is no way. Even with a crit, I don't think we would have won that. So that really sucked. Uh, maybe I could have did... Uh, yeah, I could have probably took out the middle one with my tag first. Alright, so we lost that, which is fine. I lost 13 and then somebody did attack me for 20. You can see we are going to lose quite a bit of points when we do get attacked. Which always seems to happen. I don't know why I lose so much points when I get attacked. But yeah, when you attack somebody you don't get that many back. Doesn't make any sense, but uh... I guess that's the way it's going to be. Um... Take down the one in the middle, I guess. It really doesn't matter who we take down. Because uh, we're going to be able to take down all of them. There we go. Put some damage into the bat. Yeah, we'll just continue attacking the bat. Get it out of the way first. Actually, you know what? We should be able to one-shot this guy at the end with this one. Is it hit for 72? Yeah, 7200. Alright, another one done. 1309. And we're gonna have to use some med packs. As you can see, I have 7200 med packs. So, I'm not too worried about that. Uh, they're pretty easy to get. All you gotta do is buy a bunch of med stations and make a ton of them. Um, he does have Leonidas, although it's really not going to help him much. We are going to be able to take down that guy with our tag. And now we're just going to put damage into him because the one in the middle is going to get to attack either way. There's no point in attacking him. Might as well attack the next one that's going to get to attack. So that way we can take him down. And we got a 14k Brutal on that one. And we got a crit on that one. So we got lucky there. Well, it really didn't even matter. I think we would have took him down either way. And a level 120. There we go. Let's see. Ooh, they all get to attack. Um, so we do have to take down one of them. I'm thinking about taking down the middle one because he does have Galactic. And that is going to be be pretty brutal to the bot and the bot I think yeah I think I made the right choice I hope I made the right choice we should be able to put some damage into the experiment I mean it really didn't matter who we attack because they both get to attack uh, now we just gotta put some damage into this guy 
Yeah, I think we made the right choice there. Yep. Now we just get to take them both down. There we go, another win there. Top 3% still. I haven't moved from the, the silver in a while. Gotta get up to top 2 and then top 1%. Which is probably going to be pretty hard to do. Well, let's see. Um, we'll take down this one because I know the other two. And never mind, there's that tag. That is a newer mutant that they just added. Uh, you do have to pay $5 for it. So I wish I had 5 bucks. I would get it. It is a pretty good tag as well. Um, you would have to get it up to gold though, because it does just come regular and then you gotta train it to bronze, silver, and then gold. And I currently don't have any gold, but I would be able to get it up to bronze and silver. I don't know if it's still in there next month, I might get it. Uh, yeah, most likely I will get it if it is still in there next month, but I doubt it will be. You never know, they might actually bring it back. So we'll see what happens there. And now we got the guy at the end, which is going to be a big problem because he's going to be able to one shot the bot, which he actually didn't attack. I'm surprised he didn't attack him. Because if Fudo took down the bot, Shellshock wouldn't have been able to take him down by himself. And we would have actually lost that one. But uh, apparently the computer didn't uh, think, I don't know. Alright, next up, got a Thor. Ooh, this one's pretty hard as well. Took down the middle one, I guess. Never mind, we get uh, a tag that is, doesn't kill him. So we're going to have to waste another attack to get him. Yeah, see that mutant's tag is only good for events and stuff like that. I mean, it's good sometimes on some of these PvP fights, but on this one it wasn't that great. But it really didn't matter, we're going to be able to win it either way. But usually when I use a tag, I want it to take down the mutant I'm attacking. Especially in PvP, because it does matter to take down a mutant before it attacks or... Stuff like that. Let's see, we're gonna use these three. Almost up to 1400 points, so we're getting there. I still think we need about 1600 though, so. Still got a ways to go. But uh, at least we made it to silver in this one. Uh, the next one, I'm hoping to make it to gold. If not, we're going to have one more after that. But we'll see if that's going to happen or not. There we go. Yeah, I don't even know if I want to make it to gold. Because even if I do, I doubt I'm going to be able to keep it. Just because I'm not going to be on during that time. I don't know, we'll see. And done. Um, there's going to be another win and a crash. Alright, so we had to go reload. I don't know if that counted it as a win. I think it actually counted it as a loss. Um, I did win at the last second, so... Usually when you drop matches, it does count it as a loss, or... Like, um... It tells you to reconnect or something like that, but anytime it drops, it counts as a loss in PvP. I don't know why it does that. Um, it should just count it as a tie or something else, because you do lose points when it when you do drop out of matches, which kind of sucks, because sometimes it's not even your fault. That time I think it was Google Chrome uh, dropping, but sometimes it's the actual game crashing. And you still lose points, so anytime it drops, I think they should just uh, count it as a tie. No, because then I think if people were going to lose, they would just exit out of the game. 
Yeah, never mind. That probably wouldn't work. Well, the first time it should be counted as a, a tie or not a loss or something like that or just not register or not take away points but then everything after that in during that day should count as a loss so people wouldn't just quit out I think that would work a little bit better but uh, having it just not count wouldn't be the best option because I, I would see a lot of people just quitting out just so it wouldn't register but that time it actually did drop I don't know if I counted it as a win or not I did finish it though but it wasn't done I didn't continue or anything like that so and I didn't look at my points I have to go back and look at that again see if I got points or not for that and we're gonna be able to win this one as well there we go winning quite a few of these almost to 1400 we are in the top 2% as well so we are actually getting close to getting up to that gold um, it might actually be at 1500 that we get gold uh, not 100% sure on that but we are 1% away and we got 1300 was silver to get to 2% was about 14 so I'm guessing to get to 1% is gonna be about 15 or somewhere between 15 and 16 so 15 something is gonna be gold um, it might actually go up a little bit from there cuz we still got about four hours left so still got ton of time for people to get a ton of points and for me to actually drop a ton as well all right we made it to 1412 get the heal and let's go wasting a ton of the tags tags as well uh, project X 27 I am a higher level so I do get to go first that's how it bases. If you do have the same mutant with the same speed, it lets the person who has a higher Evo or the person attacking, because if you have the same uh, Evo, it's the person that attacks that gets to go first. I don't know why. They should like flip a coin or something like that to see who goes first if you're the same level. Because usually a deci the deciding factor is who goes first. Because if I'm able to go first and I'm using my tag and I take down one guy like I did there, then he's only got two attacks left. And if he doesn't take down one of mine, pretty much not going to win most likely. Or most of the time they won't win unless they're really, really strong. So 126. And we're gonna be using the same team. Where's the bot? There he is. There we go. And three faster mutants. We're gonna take down the one at the end. Or the bat. It really doesn't matter which one we take down. Actually, we didn't get a good tag there, so he's gonna get off his tag and most likely gonna take down the bot. He actually didn't attack the bot. Um, wow. That's the first time they actually didn't just attack a mutant to take down. Although they are going to be able to take down Project X27 there. We are going to be able to one shot this guy. And let's see. It's four. Oh, crit. Lately I've been getting a lot more crits. That crit thing never used to work, but now getting a ton of crits. Alright, 57, 21. We'll do one more in this one. Oh, uh, because we are coming up on 20 minutes. But uh, we are pretty close to gold, so I'm guessing in the next one we will get to gold. And then that's going to be about it, hopefully. 
And then uh, at the end of that one, if we do get to gold, um, I'll put the rewards that I did get. And then we'll see the new mutant as well. Alright, let's see. Uh, let's take down the one at the end, of course. Because that one I don't like because it does have galactic. And uh, I don't have a good mutant to actually do enough damage to a galactic. Besides the bot, but they usually take that down right away. And this time they're just trying to put enough damage into Shell Shock, which are actually going to either take them down, but the bot is going to be able to take down the bat there. Because I did have damage into it. But that's going to be about it for this one. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll talk to you guys next time.